everybody. Happy Sunday. So, of course, the lights on this tree have to burn out. It's a pre-lit tree. That's what I hate about these pre-lit trees. They burn out, and then what do you do? You have to either throw it away or buy lights. You know, and then what happens when my big tree goes out? I mean, they're gonna have to throw it away or buy lights to string on it myself. It is such bull crap. So anyway, I have these extra lights, luckily, down in my basement that I have to put on now and just add more plugage. It's just ridiculous. All right, I'm done. That was a huge ordeal, believe it or not. Oh my gosh. So if the rest of them burn out, I will be so upset. You don't even know. Huh, Lola? Huh. I had to go to Walmart today because I wanted to pick up my parents a little something for Christmas because we're going down there on Christmas Day. And I wanted to get the little mini sweet potato pies, but they didn't have any more. And so by darn, I got the big one. Actually, this one's the medium size. They do have a bigger one. And I just, I just got this because it's amazing and it's Christmas time. And so that's what I did, yo. That's what I did. Oh my gosh. And then I got an oil-free acne wash by Neutrogena. I love this stuff and I'm completely out. And then I picked up my parents, this Hickory Farms um, little cracker meat pack. This is the perfect size. This one was $8.95. Um, I put a little sticker over the price. $8.98. And it just comes with a sausage and a little cheese and some mustard and little crackers. And this is the perfect size. They had one that was bigger for 14 bucks and one that was bigger for 19 and then one that was even bigger for 25 this is amazing perfect size and he loves this stuff so i got him that and then he also loves 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 fruitcake and this little brick was in with the christmas candy it was like 275. he loves fruitcake doesn't matter where it's from or what kind and my stepdad used to make fruitcakes for him every single year but now that he doesn't get them anymore since my stepdad passed away, he hasn't had a fruitcake in a while, and I just saw this, and it's the perfect little tiny size, perfect. And my dad will absolutely love it. So I got that, and then I got them this super sweet little plant. I was gonna get them a poinsettia, but they were all gone. And um, this little thing was the only plant type thing left. And it was only $4.95. I didn't even know what, how much it was because there wasn't a price on it. So I was really surprised that it was so inexpensive. I thought it was going to be like $7 or something. But it is so cute. And it's just, it's real. It's a little juniper bush. And it just comes in this little paper Santa sleeve. It is so adorable. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to take down there for Christmas. And Walmart wasn't even that bad. It was crowded, but I found a front row spot to park. It was crazy. And then the checkout lines were fair. I mean, they, they were just like every every other normal day. And so I'm standing in line and then, you know, I had I was gonna have to wait a while. And then just over across the way, there was the express lane and it was open and free. I was like, what? And so this lady went in there and she only had a few things. And I quickly gathered up my stuff and went over behind her and got right out. She was like, the, the lady in front of me was like, isn't this amazing? I was like, yes, it's a Christmas miracle. And she's like, yeah, it's awesome. We just got right in and right out. I was like, yep. So we wished each other a Merry Christmas and went on our way. Daryl's getting his hair cut right now at the Great Clips and He's gonna pick up some extra crackers to go with this Hickory Farms thing. He's just gonna pick up some Ritz crackers. And yeah, that's that's it for now. Hey everybody, happy Christmas Eve. We're just getting ready to go to our party 
and I'm wearing this cute sweater that I haven't worn for like four years. It's so cute. I got it at Buckle and my mom was with me when I bought it. So, yep, I'm loving it. And I just have on my skinny jeans and my boots. So. And good news, it hasn't snowed, so we're good to go. Christmas party everybody. It was really fun. So we're in Orem right now and I love all these lights. This is the most Christmas lights I've seen all year long or all season long. <laughs> oh that green one's cool. There's like they're just like little balls in there. That is so pretty. That is so cool. I like the blue one the best. Well, their sun's driving. Hey, everybody. So we stopped to get gas. I needed to gas up before we go to my dad's tomorrow. And it's totally not snowing. It was supposed to snow, and I'm so glad it's not. But it's supposed to snow tomorrow morning, too, so I don't know if we're going to wake up to snow and have to drive in it, or if it'll snow later. We'll just keep our fingers crossed that it snows later. Excuse me, we had meatballs and little wieners and salad and macaroni salad and cookies and brownies and chips. And what else? Um, rolls. It was good. Hey everybody, guess what time it is? It's time to open the last three boxes on my advent calendar. This was so fun, I can't even tell you. So let's do this, shall we? Let's Number 22, Skin Fix. I have heard of this, but have not tried it. Foaming Oil Cleanser. Dermatologist recommended, allergy tested, and pH balance. Natural sulfate free cleanser. Leave skin soft and hydrated with jojoba and macadamia oils for all skin types. Very cool, a foaming oil cleanser. This is Amon Day Shower Oil. Oh, I was thinking this was something else, but it's similar. I was thinking this was, oh, I can't remember the name, but, so this is shower oil, huh? Interesting. Ooh, it's not sealed. It smells so good. I wonder if this is what my mom had and she gave it to me, but, I didn't use it in the shower. Maybe, maybe she gave me something else. I think it was something else. Mmm, smells super good though. I'm not sure if I'd want to use an oil in the shower though because it's slickery. But dang, it smells good. 
it's got almond oil in it. Very fun. Okay, last but not least, everybody. Here is the 24th of December, the last box. And we have Sucker Pear Tiger Grass Cream by Dr. Jart. Derma Green Solution, the power of tiger grass. Well, for heaven's sakes, I've never had such a thing. Okay, this hydrates, soothes redness, and itching due to dryness. Hydrate, oh, okay. The rest is the rest is in a different language. Okay, so hydrates, soothes, redness, and itching due to dryness. Cool. I wonder if this can be used anywhere or if it's just a good face. Um, helps to soothe sensitized skin resulting from external environmental stressors. Okay, this goes on your face. After using toner and serum, apply a moderate amount onto sensitized skin. Press cream into skin with warm warmth of hands to allow maximum absorption. I read all that with no glasses, you guys. Very cool. So here it is in my little tube. Cool. I hear Dr. Jart is very awesome as well. Oh my goodness. That's it, you guys. This was so fun. Thank you to my friend Sherry for sending me this incredible, awesome Advent box calendar. And I believe this is from QVC, and they do one every year. And I for sure am going to get one next year. This was so much fun. I can't even begin to tell you. Awesome. Thanks so much, Sherry. Happy Wednesday! It's the day after Christmas! I can't believe Christmas is over. That kind of makes me sad. But, I don't know, the week, the days after Christmas still kind of seem and feel like Christmas a little bit. So, I'm still holding on to that. Um, I actually have a Christmas party planned this weekend at my house for my brother-in-law and his wife and kids. You know, my little nieces, they're dying to open their presents. And so hopefully that will happen Saturday. I'm not sure, though. Um, my house is a complete mess. I've got dishes in the dishwasher I need to put away, and then I need to, I need to refill it and probably start a load. I have some laundry I've got to do. I've got all sorts of stuff on my counters to put away, and I've just got to straighten up. So here's all my stuff here. I have to, I have some corn pops in this that I need, I need to wash this bowl in a bad way. I have a bucket full of candy and another little bucket full of some nut mix that my husband brought home from work. And then someone at his work also made these cookies. Um, I wonder if this is divinity. Yeah. Mm. That's divinity. Um, somebody gave us some candy canes. Here are the pyrolines that we don't like. I guess we'll probably give these to his brother. His kids will eat them. Little kids eat anything. Um, we have extra boxes of chocolates that we ordered from C's Candy. I made these rolls last night. Our friends... Um, 
made some fortune cookies. They dip them in chocolate, like half and half. Our other friends and neighbors gave us some Ghirardelli chocolates. And we have some Welch's sparkling grape from another friend. Oh, I love this stuff. Here's the sweet potato pie I bought from the Walmart the other day. I haven't done bad. It's only halfway eaten and I bought it on Saturday. Mmm. Mmm. Why did I just start? This is good. Mmm. If you've never had one of these and you've been curious, try it. Sweet potato pie from Walmart, Patty LaBelle. Oh. I will never have pumpkin pie again. This is the best. It is velvety and smooth and super sweet. Lots of nutmeg in here. It's just absolutely amazing. This is the medium size. They make a bigger size. And then they also make little miniature ones like single serve pies, which are 50 cents a piece. Mm. So, that's how I eat my pie. And then our neighbors made us some really yummy gingerbread men. And then one of Daryl's family members gave us this cookie set from Trader Joe's. Nutty Popcorn Trio has chocolate, almond, macadamia, caramel, and pecan and praline. Um, cocoa batons. And these chocolate chip sandwich cookies. And just look what, what a cute gift that is. That is so adorable. And I love this ribbon. I'm totally going to save this sack and the ribbon because it's amazing. All right. Well, on Monday, I received this big box from our friend Amy at Away Girl. She has her own channel, and you guys have heard me talk about her time and time again. She's amazing, sweet, beautiful, smart. I just love her. I just love her. And she and I decided we wanted to give each other a Christmas present. So here's hers, and then I, she probably got mine on Monday. We're not necessarily doing a collab like Tyler and I did, or like she and Tyler did. We just wanted to send each other a gift. So hers came and I have slid it open, but I haven't opened it. So I'm gonna do that right now. It's a big old box. Oh, holy cow. Girl, oh, this is awesome. That is beautiful. That is so pretty and Christmassy, you look. Thank you, Amy. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I love this, I love this. And look at this cute paper. I think I might keep that. I'm a, I'm a paper hoarder. And then she has something at the bottom. Oh my gosh, this paper. Oh my gosh, there's several things at the bottom. <laughs> well, first of all, okay, I'm gonna take them out of the box. And then I'm gonna read the card and then I'll open the gifts. Okay. Girl, and the blanket even kind of sort of matches, matches the paper. Yeah. <laughs> You have a gift for being a wonderful friend. And then the card itself says, your friendship brightens my life, so I'm wishing you the same kind of happiness you give to me because it's Christmas, but mostly because you're you. And it says, precious Tracy, and then lover in parentheses, because we call each other lover. I hope you know how much joy you bring to people's lives every day. You are so loved and I am so grateful to know you and so blessed to have you in my life. This gift is just for you, but give Daryl, Lola, Momo all my love. I love you, but the Lord loves you more. 
Merry Christmas. So thankful for you, Amy Etaway girl. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Amy. And everything you said about me, ditto. And she said, this is mine. <laughs> it's for me. Nobody else. But I'll share with Daryl. And I'm sure the babies will be laying on it. So, I'm going to open this first. I know it's candy, but let's see. We got some Mike and Ikes. I love me some Mike and Ikes. I love me some Mike and Ikes. Thank you. These are so chewy and delicious. Every time I go to Dollar Tree, I get me some Mike and Ikes. Okay, I'm going to open this one. in a plastic. I'm going to fall over here. I'll take it off. Oh my god. Jamie, thank you. How did you get this done? I just love this picture so much. This is one of my very favorites, and I never did get one enlarged or anything. This day, we went to the mall. <laughs> we were going to the mall, and um, we took this picture before we got out of the car. This is about two years old, I would think. Maybe two years old, I think. Thank you, Amy. Oh my heck, I am so sorry, you guys. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I love that. And now I'm gonna open this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> White chocolate m &Ms. They melt in your mouth, but not in your hands. Thank you, Amy. Thank you for everything. You are precious and I just love you. And I cannot tell you how much this picture means to me. I just can't. I thank you so much. I love this. And I love you. So I just wanted to share all that with you, everybody. Amy is just a sweetheart. And you really should go check her out. <laughs> love you, Amy. Thank you.
I need to thaw out my turkey boob before it's too late. I just received word from my sister-in-law that Saturday will be good. So today's Wednesday, so this will be fine to thaw. And this is a Norbest turkey. It's got the tender timer in it, so when it's done, it just pops out. We are on our way to the store. What else is new? I need to get a prescription, and I just need to pick up a few things for my turkey dinner on Saturday. And it's good weather, and so I decided to just do it tonight. Well, it's four o'clock. I just decided to do it. So, anyway, that's what we're doing. I need to get some butter and some olives. And I'm like, for a minute there, I thought I had a flat tire. And plus, they've got all of their Christmas stuff on clearance, which is probably all gone. But that's okay, I don't need anything. I've got plenty of Christmas stuff. But it's always fun to look. I am not getting any candy. I do not need any candy. In fact, I'm getting Daryl a whole bunch of candy for Christmas. And I just put it all in a big old sack tonight. For tonight when we open our presents. So, yeah. No more candy. I gotta... I gotta contain the candy. But... We didn't get a really bad snowstorm like I thought we would. It only snowed a little bit, just a tiny bit on, was, was it Christmas Eve? I don't remember, but it didn't really snow. And then on Christmas Day, let's see, Christmas Eve I think it kind of rained and snowed a little bit, at least in my neck of the woods. And then, Christmas Day, we woke up and there was no snow, and the sky was blue, and it was kind of a great day, and we got to my dad's, and there was no snow, which was wonderful, because that's kind of a long drive, and it's kind of up, kind of in mountainy, canyony, kind of, sort of, and then um, it started to snow last night around 9 o'clock when we were leaving my dad's house. And by the time we got home, there was like, I don't know, an inch or less. And it was really cold and it was sticking. And then this morning, it, it melted away. I mean, it's not on the, the roads, but it's on the grass and everything. I don't know if you can see all that. But, and so yeah, it's great weather now. and. So I thought I would hurry up and just go to the store and get what I needed while it was good weather and not have to worry about it. Ew, and my elbow itches really badly. And I can't seem to get it. Ugh. It's one of those, and I have my coat on. Ew. All right. So now that I've bored you for three minutes, I'll let you go. a few things on sale like these were two dollars these were on sale for two dollars so I grabbed those for next year for the girls these were 50 cents so I got them a go fish and an old maid I love both of those and these were 50 cents so I just grabbed a pack of those and these are fun these are gift card maize Things. You have to you stick the maze in it and then you have to there's a ball in here and you have to figure out how to make the ball go to get your card out. <laughs> Looks kind of complicated. These were I can't remember, were they a dollar seventy-five or two something a piece? I maybe shouldn't have gotten these, but I thought these would be fun for my kids, my friends' kids. It'll give them something to work for. <laughs> and 
I got eight cans of Fancy Feast, a pack of butter, some almond milk, unsweetened vanilla, and some whipped cream. Over here I got a bag of apples, and then some premium romaine lettuce mix, some chips, I got this for my Christmas dinner. And then I got, these cans were four for five, so I got some of those. And then I wanted to try this Brianna's Homestyle um, Strawberry Vinaigrette. So that is what I got at the store. Oh boy, everybody has their own box. Momo, she has a little one. And Lola. Little kitty condos. Hey everyone, welcome to the closet. I just don't have it in me to do the dingy, dingaling, or turn off all the lights. All I could do is get this on my head. Huh. And bring in the Momo. I just don't feel good. This afternoon I started feeling kind of weird and sick. So needless to say, we didn't do our presents. We didn't open presents tonight because I was so sick and tired. And I just had to take a nap and then I woke up and I still wasn't feeling well. I don't really quite know what could be wrong with me. I might have an idea, but I'm just zipping it until I know for sure or until it goes away or whatever but we'll see how I feel tomorrow so I ended up putting the turkey back in the freezer just in case we don't have dinner on Saturday in case what I have might be something serious so um, I put it back in the freezer but tomorrow if I feel good I'll pull it back out and if I feel good tomorrow then I should be good to go but sorry this whole vlog's been choppy and unfinished and new days popping up all of a sudden it is what it is it was kind of a hectic busy few days and yeah I wasn't able to film at my dad's I just don't feel comfortable filming there because I don't know if my brother would appreciate me filming my dad. My brother doesn't even know I do this, but I just don't want to start any problems, so I just don't video my dad very much. I mean, I have before, but I'm just not gonna do it very much. Just, just to be safe and good. But we had a fun time. We just chilled and he loved that fruit cake that I bought him. He loved it from Walmart, that little brick. Even my stepmom loved it. It was insane. And then in the mail today, my cousin from Tennessee sent me a box and it had some homemade Chex Mix type stuff. I don't know what she calls it. She calls it brickle or bickle or brackle. I don't know what she calls it. She sent it to me last year. It's got Chex Mix, Cheerios, pretzels, and a lot of cashews. And then just really, it's really good and buttery and Worcestershire saucy and it's good. She sent me a bag of that and then she sent me three fruit cakes. Three homemade fruit cakes from my stepdad's recipe. Bless her heart, I, I don't like fruitcake. I told her last year that I'm not really big on fruitcake, but hers was okay, you know, the way that she made it. My stepdad, the way he made it was fine, but I, I think Melissa made it a little more appetizing for me, but I still, I'm not big on fruitcake because I just don't like the candies in it and I'm not a big nut cake. <laughs> I mean, I am a nut cake, but I just don't like a lot of nuts in my cake. So, I'm just going to give them to my dad because my stepdad used to make him fruitcake and give it to him every year. And my dad adored that fruitcake. He adored it. And he had it, one in his freezer. 
he would rotate and he had one in his freezer every year and so now he's going to get three <laughs> and um, they keep in the freezer really well and he can just have a slice of fruit cake whenever he wants now because he's got three of them and that's what he thoroughly enjoys but I opened up the foil and smelled them and it smelled so much like when I would go to my mom and stepdad's house when he was baking his fruit cakes, and the whole house smelled delightful. It just smelled like Christmas. And that was his tradition. He made his fruit cakes, and I have that recipe. I found it. It's all on this messy recipe card that's years and years old, and I have it. So, anyway, I'm gonna go because I it's 10 o'clock. No. It's like 11, 11.30, I gotta get to bed. I'm still trying to edit this video. But anyway, thanks for your patience and I hope you all had a wonderful, happy, merry Christmas. I just love you all so much and you all mean a lot to me. And I just really wish you have, you had a very merry Christmas. And I hope that you will have a happy new year as well. I'm not sure what tomorrow will bring. I don't know if I'll feel good tomorrow or not. If I'm feeling good, I'll vlog. If not, we'll see. But I'd really like to open my presents finally tomorrow. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I just love you so much. Have a wonderful sleepy. And we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.